I came in uh, to work on a data entry tool, so quickly put together a database which we shared with the partners and they began to enter the data and with time uh, the data sets that were prepared came back and we began to go through them so that began in an iterative process. Uh, partners send data, I check and produce reports to them and send them back and we keep going back and forth. So it's 8,000 uh, uh, households, uh, it's about 600 uh, columns in, in, in sort of each data set. They've got four. We have a count, we have 10 million data cells. Now of course, you, you know, there, there's some of that stuff that is repetitive, but it's the process. But what sort of remained was a commitment that each of these data sets would come into the public space in a state that was usable, checked and we would feel reasonably confident that the data was, uh, sets were in, in, in good place. There's been a lot of work on deforestation for sure, a lot of modelling, uh, most of it recently using Landsat um, uh, sort of GIS uh, maps, uh, which you then link with socio-economic data. The criticism of that approach is that you're not able to work with the so-called culprits or the change agents, the households that are actually working with the, uh, the, that are at the forefront of the deforestation. So what this data set gives us an opportunity to do is to look at the land use decision making from the household perspective, understand what these households have in terms of resources, and sort of try to look at is, is deforestation at the household level driven by poverty or is it a wealth story? Is it the poor are extensifying, are they extending into the forest because they cannot intensify, are they landless, or is it that the wealthier households have access to resources and are unable to do that. Um, the preliminary results are, are not conclusive. We, we do not see the poverty story, at least it doesn't come out very um, strongly, because for example we find that the wealthiest 20 percent we're clearing 30% more than the poorest 20%. Again, everything is relative because these are poor communities. But yes, so that's, we have an opportunity to uh, follow up on this big, great literature on deforestation, but bring 8,000 plus households with us and, and try and see if, if that can inform the debate and, and move the conversation forward.